Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful tutorial, we're trying to see how to do data science or data analysis within our terminal or command line. So let's see how to work with it. So in most projects, we use pandas, right? The almighty pandas or maybe uh, another package like Koala or something. So let's see how to use our bash and a very nice package called CSV kit to do data analysis within our command line. So let's see how to work with it. So I'm just going to install this particular package. So in case you are on a Unix based system, you can just install it with this option. I open my terminal and I'm going to install it here, right? So that is how to install it perfectly. So that is how to install this particular tool called CSV kit. I've already installed it, so we will be moving straight away. You can also install it with pip, right? In case you're on a Windows, you can also use pip. So pip install CSV to install it. Now let's see how to work with it. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to be importing pandas. So I'll be comparing pandas together with how to do the same thing within our terminal, right? I'll be using this particular terminal inside our Jupyter notebook. So let's read our file. So I have our famous data set PD read underscore CSV. Then I'll pass in my data set, right? This is our famous data, data set. Perfect. So in case I want to read the, the first five rows, right? In case I want to read the first five rows, I just go with DF dot, let me bring it to the top, dot head. Right, and it's going to print the first five rows for us. So how do you read your data set and how do you preview the first five rows within your terminal? So the simplest way is just go with head, then iris, right, the data set. So it's going to print the first 10 rows with the head. But in case you want to do the same thing that we had here, which is for the first five rows, just going to go the same thing, head, you come to our terminal. So it's going to be head dash N, then the value of five, then the data set. So it's also going to print it perfectly for us, just as in pandas. Very, very interesting. So in case I want to read the entire data set, I can also do the same thing by going with df. That's going to print the entire data set, right? So how do you do the same thing in your terminal? You are not going to use head. Head is only going to print the first rows, right? The first rows or the first aspect of your data set. But to get the entire data set, you just go with cut. Then cut, then you supply your data set. So if I go with cut, going to print out everything for us just like we did here right very very interesting now let's check some other stuff can also do so in case you also want to read the last rows in pandas you're just going to go with df.tail then it's going to read the last five rows right or in case you want to be specific df.tail let's say the last 10 rows then it's going to print the last 10 rows for us so how do you do, do how do you do the same thing in our command line so it's going to be very simple it's going to be tail then you supply your data set so it's going to print the 10 ro 10 rows for us here then in case i also want to get make get only the five rows do the same thing dash n then five right so it's going to print the last five rows for us just as we had here very very interesting so the other stuff you can also do you can also use something like cut then you supply your data set then you can pipe it to more or less, right? Any of them, more or less. Then you keep on clicking, printing. In case you want to quit, just go with kill, right? You can also do the same thing for less. In case you don't want to see the entire stuff, you only want to see some of the data set, but not just the head or the tail. You can just use the less, then more, more. In case you want to quit, just go with kill. Perfect. So, so you have seen how to read our data set, preview it, get the first rows and the last row. Now let's see some other stuff you can also do. So in case you want to check for the data set, the shape of the data set. So the simplest way in pandas, just go with df the shape. Then it's going to print the data set, the shape for us. But how do you do that within your terminal? So you just go to WC for word count, then you pass in your data set. So it's almost going to give you something similar because this is going to read together the header together, right? Very interesting. So that is the basic idea using word count right so this is quite interesting almost similar now how do you get all of these things this is in a very nice format but how do you get this ones in a tabular form because in the previous one these are not in a tabular form so how do you do that that is where csv kit come inside so using a very nice package that comes with csv kit called csv look right so with csv look you will be able to get everything within a tabular form so i'll just go the same thing that we had head dash n five then i'll pipe it to my csv look there's also going to print it 
in a table at one point so everything that you have done once you pipe it to csv look you'll be able to get it as a table see the mistake i made i forgot to bring the data set so let's bring our data set dot csv right so that it will to bring it perfectly well yeah this one we do not bring the data set so here you are supposed to specify the particular data set that we want to see so that now this has given to us in a very nice table format so if i go with this you can see it clearer so this is quite clear better than the previous one so i can run it again and it's going to be nicer than what we have here perfect so now, now we have it in a very nice format for us very very interesting quite quite interesting right so let's see how to do that so everything that we have done once you pipe it to csv look and get it inside the table platform now let's see how to check for columns right so in pandas in case you also want to check for columns in pandas you just go with this option so df dot columns see what i wrote <laughs> to check for columns is going to be df dot columns now it's going to print all the columns for us so how do you get the column names from your data set within the terminal so it's going to be csv cut then dash n then you're going to pass in your data set right so if i go with this you're going to print the column names for us perfect so this is how to get the column names right and this is how we do that in pandas but with csv kit just go with csv cut which is another tool so you have lens about csv look we have csv cut to get the column names so you can use this same thing to select various columns so in case i also want to select a column from here right because i've gotten the column here you can also select a particular column by going with df and i'm passing a particular column let's say species right. so it's going to select everything for us so how do you do the same thing we can use the same csv cut so csv cut then dash c for the column right then i'll specify let's say species then i'll pass in my data set it's still going to print the same thing that we had here right so that is one way of selecting a particular column so we use this one to get a column we use this one to select a particular column in case also you want to select a particular column with csv kit just go with csv cut dash c then a particular column name which is the one we had here then you pass in your data set very very interesting right so this thing can also be piped with a csv look to get it in a table form right Perfect. So this has given to us in a tabular form. Very, very interesting, right? So that is one way of working with it. Now let's see how to also check for data type. So in case I want to check for a data type in pandas, just go with not just the data type. In case I want to check for the data type as well as some descriptive analytics or descriptive statistics, I just go with df dot describe. That's going to list the various information about it, right? all the descriptive statistics the count the mean the standard deviation the minimum so how do you do the same thing within your terminal so it's very simple it's going to go with another two called csv stats right this is for statistics csv stats then you're going to pass in your data set so if i pass in my data set it's going to analyze this data set and give me all the various descriptive statistics about our data set perfect so this has given to us all of them Right, so we have the various columns, separate length. Separate length is going to give us the unique values, it's going to give us the smallest number, largest number, the sum, the minimum. You see, we have the mean here, which is almost the same as the mean here, right? As, we, if you, can, as you can see, we also have the median, everything is working well. Standard deviation, standard deviation, everything is working. So we can use this CSV stats to just do the same thing with df.describe. Very interesting. Let's say you want to only get information about a particular column. In pandas, you're just going to go with this. So df, then you supply the particular column. So let's go with sepal. Say sepal width. Let's use width for now. Right, then just passing dot describe. Can't spell describe, dot describe. So it's going to list everything for us. The count, specifically pick a particular column. So the same thing can be done here. So instead of going with just the full stack can also specify the particular column that you want so by going with c right then a particular column so we had it as sepal length so we can just go with sepal sepal width right and it's also going to pick that particular column and give us only the information about it right just like we have here so we're going to take some time perfect so we see that now it was able to give us 
almost the same thing here, right? The same information that we have here. Very, very interesting. To the point that you could really give us a count, 150, and a count is here, right? Very interesting. Some of the unique values and some interesting stuff there. Let's see for checking for the data type. Data type. D type is going to give us the data types, but here it already comes with it, the type of data, which is number, right? Which is here, it is float, right? With this CSV stat, you already automatically get the type of data. Okay, very interesting. Now, there's some other stuff you also want to do. So from here, we could get the count, the mean, the standard deviation, the minimum. So how do you, do you get the same stuff for your data set with CSV stat? You can also come to the same place. So CSV, then come up. CSV stats. Then I'll pass in my value, iris. Then I can specify dash dash mass. So that's dash mass is going to give me the maximum value which we have here for our data set. And you can also specify a particular column, right? In case you also want to get the particular column. So if you have 7.9, 7.9, 4.4, 4.4, 6.9, 6.9. Very interesting. You can also do the same thing for minimum. And it's also going to work for us. So we had 4.3, 2.0, 1.0, 0.1. So we're going to print the same thing. So 4.3210.1. 0 0.1. Very interesting. You can also do the same thing for me. Just as we had it here as me, right? So it's going to print the same thing for us. In case you also want to specifically specify, just like in a particular column, you can also do the same thing by going with the cut. Right? Then you specify the column. So let's go with, let's say, a different column like sepal length. Right, that's the column I'm choosing. Then I can just go with the mean. So it's going to pick that particular column and then give us only the value for that particular column, right? For the mean of that value, which is this one. Very interesting, which is referring to this. Very, very interesting, very cool. So let's see some others that can also do. So in case I also want to check for missing values. In pandas, you just go with df.is, it's is no. Then it's going to print false, 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 false for them. So how do you do the same thing here? You can just come back to this place, then go with CSV stats, right? Then I'll pass in my value. So Iris, data, that is the data set, then dash dash null. So dash dash null is going to just do the same thing that we have here, giving us where we can get null values, like false, false, false. So this is going to be the same thing. So false, 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 just like we had it here. You can also do the same thing here in this option. Mm, dot sum summing it up zero 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 which is almost the same thing right perfect so let's see some other stuff we can also do so in case you also want to check for the unique values like i want to check for all the unique values there so let's say i want to check for the unique count right so in pandas it's going to be df then we select a particular row let's say species right i want to get dot value you can also use group bar value count can, you co can also use group by this 50 50 in the previous one we did we realized that you can also do the same thing you can also use the unique to help us with that so let's go with our iris data set dash c we are picking species then you can just go with dash dash unique so right it's also going to do the same thing for us just as we had a 50 50 50 but we're also going to look at our data set pick that particular species column and give us a three so these are the three different unique values there you can also use the previous one that we did which was the broader one without the unique and it's also going to give it more information right give more information about which of them are unique right like see that we have setosa 50 the secular 50 and then regenerator 50 so that is how to work with getting unique values. Now let's check some other stuff. How do you select a column? Previously, we learned that you can also use CSV cut to do that, right? You could use CSV cut, which was this option. So we have it here, CSV cut to select a particular column. So in pandas, you just do this. Let's say I have all my columns, the so of columns. And I want to select a particular column. I can I can do this and bring it up. DF, right? Then I select the column. So this is species. Perfect, right? So one way of doing it, we learned that we can also do the same thing with C. Then a species. 
then you pass in the data set right so that is one way of doing it so you can just specify the column name itself just like we have done here right or we can also give the column number right perfect so that it's working the same thing you can also go the column number this is one method the next method you can is that you can also do this instead of going with this you can just specify the column number which is let's say three and then you can do multiple right so three and four <laughs> see what i did <laughs> can do multiple and also going to list perfectly for just like in pandas you can also do something like this so that this has given to us the values right these are the multiple values there this is not nice but you can you can see that this is a petal length petal width you can also pipe it you can pipe this one to csv look to get it in a table form csv look so whilst it's running we can also do the same thing in pandas by going with df then you can specify the columns so species, species let's go with petals petal length something like that right you can also do something like this but it must be in this option so it's also going to print it perfectly for us just like we have here right something very simple so you can either use this option or you can use this one you can also supply the various names there just like this so i can copy this one here come back to this place do the same thing instead of using the number you can also paste in this and it's also going to work just like we had right it's also going to work like this for us so i'm not supposed to even bring this one but hopefully it will work so perfect it's able to work so the same results we are getting using csv toolkits right very very interesting finally let's see how to find a value right so in case you want to find a value in pandas let's say i want to find virginica which is going to be my df then i'm going to go with the particular stuff i want to find so let's say df uh, i want to check for the column species then i'll supply is equal to virginica virginica right then i'll pass it inside the entire data frame so we're only going to select only the virginica species for us right so the same thing can be done here inside our terminal by going with this particular format so this may be quite long can just go with can just go with csv then we're going to cut the particular column that you want so see let's say i want to get species column right then i will get it from the data set as the species column then i'll pipe it with csv grip we also have csv grip to find details then i'll specify the particular column that i want to pick from which is the species column or i can even leave it without specifying the species column then i want to match with the dash m so the dash m is going to tell me what keyword i want to match so here we had the match word as virginica right so here we bring that same word here so let's say virginica right and then you can just pipe it to csv look so it's a quite a long full so what we are doing here is that we are trying to look through this particular column then specif specifically find this particular column then search or match for this word and pipe it out to the table okay so see that now it has given to us virginica virginica right because we are specifically cutting one particular column without this i can also do the same thing i can also go with this option take off the cut apply it for the entire stuff and it's also going to work perfectly right or you can even be simple or give it in a simpler format by going with this option without the csv cut this is also another way you can also do it right without the csv cut just pipe it there but you must apply the data set we forgot to supply the data set so let me cut it off and then supply the data set which is going to be dash the data set is iris it's also going to work right so this is also another simple format that you can also do so that is how to work with a very nice packet called csv kit to do data analysis very very interesting so that this give us more information than the previous one so that is one way right of just like we had it here right we had it here very very interesting so thank you for watching this tutorial so in case you have any question or contribution you can just put it in the comment section below and then please check the links below for some interesting materials and some interesting courses to help you master machine learning and python thank you and see you blessed
See you in the next session. Stay blessed.